one of the first things that you can do is thumbnails. Thumbnails basically are just small images, very, very, very quick sketches of something. Thumbnails give you the ability to draw out ideas very quickly, so rather than focusing on the details, trying to capture the idea. For this design, there's a heart element, there are plants involved, and then there's a sort of a wooden element, okay? So there's going to be a couple different ways that this could be drawn out. So when I would start, I would start out with just a normal piece of paper. You can kind of break it up into quadrants to give you something um, to, to work within. So we know the shape is going to be on her thigh. It's going to be taller than it is wide. So we can draw out kind of a general rough shape. Again, if you don't know what something looks like, there's nothing wrong with looking it up. Drawing out a couple different shapes here. We've got kind of a general heart shape. Again, not focusing on details, focusing on the idea. So just a very quick sort of heart sketch. We can incorporate flowers and leaves because that was one of the elements desired. Okay, so again, not focusing on details, more just creating shapes. So the circles can represent flowers. You can go in and add those details later if this is the design that you decide to do adding in some leaves here and there. This is one of those examples of drawing inspiration from nature, seeing how leaves come off of a stem, how flowers interact with the leaves around them. There's a way of sort of stylizing these flowers and making them look like they are part of something actually natural rather than just something that is haphazard. So again, these circles can represent flowers and then just leaves coming off of them with some stems maybe. So in this example, the heart is sort of surrounded by some flowers with some leaves, with some greenery. I'm gonna make some leaves here. Again, not focusing too much on the little details. Okay, so we have a sort of flower semicircle. Then we have the heart. Now the other element that we wanted to include was wood. So with this large shape down here, oftentimes this can be used to show different elements because it's a large sort of open space. And so for this one, we can make it look like maybe a piece of wood. And again, Knowing what things look like is just based on practice. Looking up what an old log looks like, figuring out how to replicate the look of old wood. You can have like a knot hole. It's often seen in old wood, like old bark, kind of a shaggy look like that. Again, focusing on creating the visual idea, turning the entire lower section of the heart into a log, more or less. So that would be one idea. I wouldn't really pursue this anymore. It's important to keep your mind moving and being creative rather than focusing in on one small specific thing. Okay, so then the number two sketch. Again, we have the same shape, more or less, that we're working with the available canvas, if you will. We're gonna do a different shape of a heart here. I'm gonna make it a little more rounded. We're gonna start with the wood. For this one, maybe we can make this look like a board. A couple boards. Can make some lines in the boards, some knot holes again. Looking up uh, wood texture can help. Old wood texture, a lot of times you'll see stuff made at like an old barn or something like that. Again, just general blocky shapes to show the idea. So we have the heart shape now. So we have other ways of incorporating flowers. We could incorporate flowers into this shape, for example. 
So rather than having the flowers on the outside, we could have the, the top part of the heart be made up of other flowers and leaves. Okay, so this gives you kind of a very rough idea that could be refined later, but this would be enough to send as an idea to a client or even just to narrow something down for yourself. I wouldn't do too much more to this. I would say, okay, that gives you an idea. Okay, great, let's move on to the next one. So I'll do one more down here. I'm gonna do the heart a little bit more, perhaps realistic looking. This time I'm gonna do the plants coming out of the ventricles. Do some of these here. Do some happy flowers, as Bob Ross would say. So this is another possible way of illustrating this idea. Now the wood element, another direction that we could go is something similar to this, but not quite the covering the whole thing, maybe something that makes it look like the wood is tacked onto the shape of the heart. So with this one, I'm gonna leave it a little bit less finished looking, so it kind of just looks like these boards have been tacked on rather than making it cover the entire lower section. And this would be another option. So this is thumbnailing. This is literally each one of these only takes a couple minutes. Don't get hung up on the details. Obviously on a larger piece, you might take a little bit longer for each thumbnail, but this is just to capture the idea your design, you can show these to your client, you can give, get feedback based on these. They might say, well, I like this element here with the wooden lower part, but then I'll like the flowers up here, all of that kind of thing. You never know. Giving as many elements as you can can help you really narrow in on the aesthetic that, that you're going for. At this point, after you get feedback, you'd be ready to move on to the initial sketch.